Hello again, Goni is here. Today we're flying from Tampa Airport to Miami Airport in Florida. We're flying a Beechcraft 350 King Air. I've set a flight level of 10,000 feet and let's go ahead and get started. Landing gear up. Continue climbing for a moment okay, and then bring up fla flaps up. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Cleared on Yankee runway, one niner left approach. Southwest right, Pull back on the stick to maintain altitude. Tim Tower KH three seven nine or continue for south departure. Okay, just working to get us on heading here. Okay, I think I can turn this over to the autopilot. Alright, so it's going to close the gap in that magenta line in the compass. Once it settles that, I'll turn on uh, flight level change. We'll go up to 10,000. It's a little higher than I've been flying lately, but I'm thinking. I'm thinking Request maybe I'll go higher, or I'm sorry, I'll go faster when I'm up there. So I'll give that a shot. There goes somebody Squawk flying by. Squawk 5411, KH379er. KH379er radar contact 3 miles west of Kilo Tango Papa Fox Trot 3500 feet. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Maintain no navigation. Yeah, I'm going to turn flight level change on. Uh, we're almost properly on heading, so you can handle the handle the change. Okay, I think we can go ahead and go outside. Let me grab my Xbox controller. Chosen a yellow livery today. Thought that might look kind of nice. You can see how the plane's at an angle as we're climbing. Going uh, half a mile a minute up in the air. Sounds like ATC was calling to a player who hadn't acknowledged one of their broadcasts. Okay, I've got the engine RPM up pretty high. I'm going to just make sure I'm not over torquing it. Okay, it looks like it's okay. There's torque, there's temperature. So. Good there. As soon as we hit altitude, I'll have to uh, pull back on the throttle. Start leveling off.
Wow, what an interesting landscape. So I've recently reset my settings. I found that they had reset to all, like, the lowest possible settings. That's why my last couple of videos didn't look so great. So I'm now back to a combination of medium and high and ultra. For me, the main noticeable difference is I'm not seeing all the fringing and the anti-aliasing. It just looks like a solid picture like you're looking at video. That's that uh, time-based anti-aliasing. Alright, so we've begun leveling off. I'm going to watch the airspeed, but I... What I'd like to do is push it up to about 2.30 and then keep it there. Then we're between 2.30 and 2.40. It's a long flight, so I'd like to see if we can keep some good airspeed going. Alright, so I'm going to go to midpoint on the throttle and see how that does in terms of our airspeed. Yeah, this might be okay. 225. I might be able to go just a tad higher. Just uh, inch it up a little bit. Okay. All right, we're being asked to contact Miami Center. It's a very hazy day. It'd be nice to be able to see better. I think, though, if we... Let me stabilize. Let me reset the view. And bring up the drone. I think we can drop down and look around a little bit. So it looks like a bunch of buildings, a little bit of fog over here. That's interesting. Alright, just periodically go check on the plane. Uh, Mainly looking for its on heading and we're not exceeding airspeed. Seems like a pretty windy day, you can see a lot of w water waves. Didn't really clear it very much, so I guess that's just a uh, regional situation. What's this, uh, over, what's this over here? Oh, it's water, okay. Interesting. It's very polygonal. Uh, looks kind of nice. Looks like a diamond almost. Maybe I can get a, a nice shot of that. Okay. Alright, so just a lot of agricultural, not much really to see here. back to the external view. Go back inside for a minute. I always kind of like this center up view. Kind of see all the way around. Miami Center Allegiant 1526 is climbing through 9,200 feet or 10,000 feet. I still think it would be nice if they had passengers 
Especially if they got upset if you weren't flying the plane gently enough and things like that, that would be pretty nice. <laughs> is that an ashtray? What is that? It can't be an ashtray. Oh, it's a drink holder. Okay, duh. Starting to hear some wind. It's 43 out. I wonder if I'm supposed to turn pilot heat on. I've never been able to figure out how to do that. I don't see a warning about it. Um, I know I cancelled a warning at one point. I don't know if the warning cancellation stuck. Let me see if I can figure that out. These are your environmental controls. Oh, that's mixture, okay. Let me go over a little bit. Okay, so those are inoperative. So it's not clear, you see, you can't really turn pilot heat on there. That's all uh, communications related. So that's fuel, that's turning off all your electronics, more calm stuff. I had to use icing in my last video, de-icing. That was kind of interesting. So yeah, it's not clear to me how to turn the pilot sheet on if they don't give you a way to do it. There probably is a way, and I just don't know how to actually make that happen. And then, unfortunately, all this stuff's inoperative. Hopefully, they'll heat that up at some point. I think this might have to do with uh, cabin pressurization. Uh, I'm not sure how. Not sure how operative that is. It looks like these actually turn. I don't want to mess with that until I know what I'm doing. Uh, something over here about oxygen. You know, flaps and rudders and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I just don't know how to turn on pilot heat. It's probably right in front of my face and I can't see it. I'll come back to that. Let's go outside and take a look again.
down from here. Again, very agricultural. Appears to be going by slower than normal, but I'm way up higher in the air, so that explains it. Almost two miles up. I feel like we could be going faster. Um, so let's just throttle up a bit. Watch these dials. Watch the airspeed. Gonna push up just a little bit. See what the effect is. Felt the nose go up a little bit. I'm gonna do that. So it'd be nice to get a little closer to 240 without going above it. Try to make up some time on this long flight. I see a United Airlines flight going by. I'm gonna nudge the throttle up just a tad more. That's about where I'd like to keep it. Um, Miami it continues climbing, I'll just go back a little bit on the throttle. These uh, beautiful engines roaring, it's hard to hear ATC over them. Wondering to what extent I'm seeing ray tracing. KH three seven nine or have the generic insight. Oh, it's just so shiny. That's got to be ray tracing there. Beautiful back reflection. You can see the coastline. Maybe it's just there's the cloud barrier or something here. Wow. KH three seven nine or traffic in sight. Right, I'm gonna reset this view. They're talking about some traffic in sight. Oh yeah, we see a few people. Alright, well we're inching towards 240, we don't seem to be going, you know, I just hit something on the joystick, we'll slow down. I'm not sure what I hit, probably a throttle related thing. I was trying to grab the controller, and I hit like the, one of the bumpers or something. Oh, did I put the flap down? Is that what happened? Yep, that's what happened. Okay. That's... Gotta watch for that. Beware using the Xbox controller hitting the wrong buttons. It can be very confusing if you're used to using this, the flight stick. Alright, I'm gonna edge the throttle back up to where we had it then. Let's see if we can... Oops. Hi. Let's see if we can um, get that speed back. I should have noticed the flaps here and here dropping. I was a little late on noticing that. Just want to check on these dials. Uh, reset the view. American 801, contact Miami Center on 133.275. Alright, that's fine. Okay, we've got our speed back. I'm going to pull back a little on the throttle. Don't really want to go any higher than that. Okay, I'm changing back a little bit more. It's just a little faster. Being asked to change frequencies. American 
I haven't adjusted barometer in a while, and it's quite a bit off. We're a couple hundred feet higher than we thought, so we got to remember to do that. Ooh, going too fast just because of the nose down. Let's just pull back a little bit on the edge. Still going up there. Keep pulling back. Don't want to go into the red very long. Oh, they're talking over each other. That's crazy. Back up a little bit in the zero. Trying to see if I can find a good balance. Keep it under 240. As little as possible. Wow, all that talking over. That's interesting. I wonder if it's multiple airports on the same frequency in the game? Okay, well, anyway, back to the controller. Careful not to hit the bumpers. It's time to look around again. So the local time here is uh, approaching 3 p.m. Not sure what the temperature at the ground is. Up here, I think it was 41. 43, yeah. I see somebody up there. At least they were. Now they're gone. Looks like a United Airlines flight. Seems like the name tags are on sometimes off others uh, unexpectedly. Nice to, nice to see that they're on this time. The last time I was seeing airplanes and I couldn't tell who they were. I love all this water down here. I'm going to go back into the drone. Oh wow. Suddenly got super quiet. Okay, I don't know where I am in relation to the plane. I know I'm pretty far ahead of it. Uh, we can't even see it. Could swoop down into these little fog banks. Uh, see what that's like. K three seven nine. Contact Miami Center on one three four decimal seven five. Right, I'm going to reset the drone because I don't really know where I am in relation. Miami Center K H three seven nine. Okay. Now. Feedback. I couldn't find a setting to default that to 100%. Okay. So I just wanted to kind of explore these uh, one two five decimal one five for KH three seven nine er water lines and things. Approach KH three seven nine er one zero thousand feet. Trying to look back and see if I can see us. I don't see it. Okay, so this is listed as an airport. Let's see how groomed their plot of dirt is for airplanes. Oh, it's tiny, but I can see that working. I see an airplane down there. Uh, a jet, although I don't think a jet is going to be parking there. It is kind of funny taking off from a random dirt field somewhere. I took off from one where halfway through your takeoff the mountain drops uh, and, and declines down, and so you've got to kind of 
I mean, it does give a l little bit of an advantage of speeding up, but you've got to quickly get yourself up in the air to clear some trees. It was very interesting. Some of my early flights. Alright, so here we are, heading to Miami. That didn't give anybody a headache. Okay, that view happens when you're in the drone and you try to hit the switch to inside button, but you're not on the external view. Now if I switch to external, then I can go back inside. Back up a little bit. Looks like our speed is still good. We're holding well. We can get this nice uh, overview of everything. I still like to try to look for pilot heat. This is all lighting in the cabin. This is battery electricity, battery voltage. And So, you know, I got a warning one time about pilot heat, but uh, did not see a way to turn it on. Going to one tree, two decimal, four five K H three seven. Now having doubts about whether it was this plane or Miami a Center K H three seven nine one zero thousand feet. Let me look at these controls a little bit better. K H three seven nine or Miami nice. Center continuous plan. Lighting. More lighting. Oh, that must be where you press to have it stop saying landing gear, landing gear. I don't know why you'd want to turn that off. Okay, that's 
related to the Garmin displays. Alternative air source, that wouldn't be heating. Again, these controls are all inoperative, so they don't really do anything for you. Maybe it really was a different aircraft that I encountered that in. Okay, um, that's more fuses down here, so that wouldn't help. Feather. I don't know what that's about, although I suspect it has to do with the ratio between your RPM and the pitch of the propeller plate, that's my guess. Okay, so more lights and lights, ice protection. There's some ice protection over here too I didn't notice yesterday when I was encountering ice. Okay, well, I'll give up on the pilot heat issue. Alright, so we're still 43 miles away. We're still at 10,000 feet. I'm going to prepare for landing by first dropping altitude past the halfway point of our flight, so I think that would be a good idea. So, 8,000. Let's go to 8,000. And drop throttle so it can do so. When I first learned about autopilot and the fact that you're in control of the throttle, I thought that was a downside, and then I realized that it actually gives you a lot of command and control over autopilot. Um, and it also makes you ultimately responsible, I guess, for what the engine is doing, so it seems like a good thing. So for instance, there to descend, it's going to try to get the plane going to the speed it was going on a request of the flight level change, which you can only do and descend if I let it slow down first by, you know, pulling back on the throttle. Anyway, little mini tutorial on autopilot for those who don't know how to use it. <laughs> Alright, so we've leveled up at 8,000. I'm going to go back to throttling up. The next thing then is let's go down to let's say 5,000 for the next step down. So one more. 5,000 right there. We're back at a good enough speed to do this. Front level change. Drop the throttle back. And down we go. See an airplane taking off over here. Now I do have to watch and make sure that the engine doesn't get going too fast as we, or you know, the airspeed doesn't get too high as we're going down. I think the autopilot knows how to deal with that. Yeah, 
there's that other airplane right there, just a pixel on a 4K display, but it's there. Okay, we haven't hit our target yet. I'm going to drop further because we're still a bit high. We really do need to drop quite a bit before we're going to be able to land. So we'll say 3500 as the target for now. And we'll just keep dropping for a while. So unlike before where it was looked like it looked like it was angled up, we can see it's angled down from the descent. Still a funny interference with the uh, double reflected glass there. They'll probably have to put a fix in for that. So. Or maybe it's my graphics card fault. Well, I don't know. Okay, we're close enough now, I really should take over from autopilot. Uh, we, do, we have quite a bit of descent to do, I probably should have started dropping earlier, but it's okay. We'll get there. Just have to keep us heading down, watch my speed. I'm going to pull back a bunch more on the throttle and put the nose down a bit more. Pretty soon we're going to need to be about 2,000 to enter the landing pattern. Getting a little bit of a wind there, trying to tip us over. Okay, so we've reached our target altitude. I'm going to go ahead and level off myself. Um, it would behoove us to slow down though, because we're going to be landing soon. One of the things I wanted to do was look at contacting the tower myself and not waiting for the co-pilot. Uh, and then we're already scheduled to land there, so I guess maybe I don't, I'm not close enough to contact them, I don't know. Because the problem is it contacts them late and then I'm scrambling to get over into the landing pattern. Okay, we're at 2400, that's actually not bad. I don't want to lose much more altitude, but I would like to drop speed. And pull back on the throttle some more. Landing gear down. That will slow us down a bit. So I'm unclear on whether I should put the flaps down now or wait. I feel like I should put them down now for safety's sake. I'll put them half the way down. Push hard on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. And then that'll slow us down. I don't need to adjust the throttle yet. I think when I put them down all the way I'll have to give us some more thrust. This will get us going slow enough that maybe I can get to the landing pattern in time. So I'm just waiting for the co-pilot to do his thing. I think it's once we enter a particular airspace, like the Charlie airspace or something, when we're 10 miles out or whatever, I don't know. I'm 
just making that up. Miami Tower KH 379er is 1 1 miles northwest with Sierra to land. KH 379er Miami Tower. Fly left base runway 9er. Altimeter 30 decimal 0 tree wind 326 at 1 4. Okay, we need to go up a bit. Make left base runway 9er KH 379. Bank left. Okay. Let's dip a little bit, see if we can see this pattern. Uh, okay, so I just will have to turn and then make a 180. Not a problem. Would like to keep climbing just a little bit and get some altitude overhead. Trying to keep an eye on altitude, air, air speed. Um, I think I'm going parallel to the thing. We'll see. Give it just a bit more thrust for safety's sake. KH379 are cleared to lane runway 9 Wind 326 at 1 4. to land runway 9er KH 379er. Okay, it's just kind of hard to see. Okay, well, I need to keep going a bit. Okay, we've gained altitude and speed. I need to pull back on the throttle. Do not want to be going too fast. to tighten up my throttle stick. I think it doesn't want to sit right near the bottom. Okay, so it's way over there. Just keep heading for it. Had a terrible time landing yesterday at Tampa. I think it, maybe it was Griefers, I don't know. Every time I tried to land, I was told to go around and there were certain players that were hovering over the airport, so I could maybe wonder if they, maybe they were goofing around. Um, I went ahead and landed without clearance, and uh, air traffic control got very upset, but needed to get the plane on the ground. Alright, I think we're in good shape here. I'm going to pull a little bit back on the Miami throttle again. Miami Tower, Brickyard 4877, runway 9 ready for takeoff IFR to Jacksonville. I'm going to make this turn and then I'm going to put Brickyard the flaps down all the way. Brickyard 4877, hold short runway 9 Traffic is Beechcraft King Air on downwind. Wait, did it move? Okay, no, it's, it's there. Okay, so we're too fast. Uh, we could burn up some of that speed by going up a bit. Once I do that, I'm going to put the flaps down the whole way and th thrust up a bit. I want to get a little, just a little bit of safety altitude here. In fact, I'm going to thrust up now because we're not climbing fast enough. So I just want to get more centered within the whole landing pattern tube here. Okay, now the th Put the flaps down all the way. And it looks like I'm turning. Yep. Oh, 
Although I'm not really seeing my brackets. Oh, okay, there's, there we go. Alright, just a little outside, that's alright. Okay, we're basically okay speed-wise. Uh, just need to keep an eye on that. Uh, we're a little high. Try to hug the right side. I always end up tugging the left side and getting too off-centered, so I'm going to try hugging the right side. Speed is dropping a little. I think our descent angle will change up here. Uh, but also the turning will slow us down a little, so we'll see. Just keep an eye on it. Yeah, I'm going to thrust up just a bit as we go into this turn, just for safety. Alright. Is that really too fast? So I've got the throttle way down. We've got the landing gear down already. Um, I might be able to just float on in without having to give it any more gas. Let's see here. Try to glide. At some point it'll just want to drop. Hopefully that's actually when we are at the tarmac. Alright, that seems like it's going well. Straighten out a little bit. Get those rear wheels down. And then get the front wheel down. Uh, rudder, apply some brakes. Get the flaps up. Alright, so let's uh, go up here. Get off the runway. I think I can do right here. So that wasn't a bad landing. Still a little shaky. I, I, I want to have a passenger-friendly landing, but that's going to take a lot of practice. But that's where my that's my goal. All right. So we're going to park here and hit the parking brake. I sure heard it. Yes, I did. Oh, uh, we're supposed to acknowledge that? One, two, seven, that? decimal five, KH three, seven, niner. I don't usually have to acknowledge that. Miami ground, KH three, seven, niner, request taxi to parking. KH three, seven, niner, taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Tango one, Tango Sierra, three, Sierra Yankee, cross runway three, zero, Yankee, Yankee. One whiskey November November 8 Mike Mike 10 cross runway 26 left Lima 10 Lima Lima 1153 What the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, where is the blue marker where I'm supposed to go? I have no idea. Hey, Oh, uh, they're wanting acknowledgement. Miami ground, KH three seven nine or say again, please. KH three seven nine or taxi to general aviation parking by a taxiway Tango one Tango Sierra three Sierra Yankee cross runway three zero Yankee Yankee one whiskey November November eight Mike Mike one zero cross runway two six left Lima one zero Lima Lima one one five three. Uh. Okay. Whoa, something just went by. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking by Taxiway Tango 1 wow, Tango cool. Sierra and Tree Sierra Yankee Cross Runway Tree Zero Yankee Yankee 1 Whiskey November November 8 Mike Mike <laughs> 1 Zero Cross Runway 2 6 Left Lima 1 Zero Lima Lima 1 1 5 <laughs> I just can't help but laugh with all that. Uh, and there's yet yeah, there's still no um, blue marker where we're supposed to go, so I'll just proceed forward, I guess. Don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> I 
I'm heading in this direction partially because I see some blue over here, but that could just be the, uh, yeah, I think it's just the lane markers. So, yeah, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, it's very unclear. Going awfully fast for taxiing. Guess we can cruise around for a while and find a place to park, maybe. Now, I don't remember ATC being so needy. I don't usually have to manually acknowledge stuff like that. Uh, and I don't actually know where I'm going, I'm just going. Alright, this is kind of silly. Maybe I'll uh, pull over, parking brake on. Pick up the drone and get an overhead view and see if I can figure out where I'm supposed to go. Um, yeah, there are just no markers of any kind. What an enormous complex this is. Wow. Okay, so I guess we're in Miami, so that explains it. This looks actually really pretty over here. Maybe we'll uh, do a city tour flight. But in terms of where to go to park, I don't, I really don't know. So we'll just keep going forward and see where we get. I think the MHRO means that plane just flew here from Mexico, maybe? I don't know. Oh, overstressing the engine. Yep, sorry. Yeah, I just really have no idea where I'm supposed to go. So I am going to do myself a favor and make my own parking spot on top of this grassy knoll. K-379er, position caution, generic on the runway. This is my new, new parking spot. I wonder why it's not giving me in the, uh, the guidance. Oh well. Really doesn't matter. Okay, turn off the engine. Local time here would be 4.26 p.m. Hey, 379 did you hear my last transmission? Eh, uh, so needy today. Roger K, H 379 They call it an edge taxi. I guess that means going all the way around, but you know, they still need to give me some guidance because I don't know the, where I'm supposed to go. All right, well, anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.